Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I am going to show you how to import or how to scrap products from Walmart and import them into WooCommerce website. Uh, like this is my website using WooCommerce and I want to grab products from Walmart from here and then import them into WooCommerce. So uh, for this, we will uh, first need an extension for Google Chrome browser. You will need Google Chrome browser for this process. Uh, I already installed it. Here is it. But uh, let me show you how you can uh, install it. Open new tab and open more tools, extensions. Click on the menu and open Chrome browser, Chrome uh, web store. Now type here web scrapper.io and press enter. So here is the scrapper offered by web scrapper.io and you will have to add this to your Chrome. Here you will see a button add to Chrome as I already installed it that is why I'm not seeing this uh, when you click on this and click on uh, add to Chrome right now you can see that there is a remove from Chrome button because I already have it so uh, once you add this and you can see this icon then come to the Walmart website and uh, decide what you want to mm, scrap from this example I am getting robot vacuum cleaners press enter now here is the list of robot vacuum cleaners from Walmart there are about uh, 30 to 35 products on this page or maybe more okay now you can right click anywhere on the page and click on inspect element if you don't see inspect element uh, in the bottom dock like this then it will be something like this for you if you uh, open inspect element for the first time so you will not be able to see the scrapper web scrapper tab uh, then you will click these three dots not for the browser but for the inspect element click this and then click on dock to bottom now you can see a web scrapper uh, tab in the inspect element click on that in the web in the web scrapper click on sitemap create new sitemap create sitemap and copy this URL and paste it in the URL section of the scrapper and name it I'll name it uh, as Walmart scrapper and click on create sitemap okay now we have uh, this listing page and these are just the uh, branding so we will start from here uh, click on add new selector to choose uh, every single link type the name we will name it as single choose type as link and then click on select and choose multiple as well you will see uh, input field here okay now click on the product first second and all other will be automatically selected the first row now choose second row and similarly all products are now selected click on done selecting okay it grabbed the mm, class for the product single product click on save selector now click on data preview if uh, it gets the links or not yes it's getting links Okay, close this and then click on single 
to get data from every single vacuum cleaner page open any vacuum cleaner okay from the single page we will first need the title as you can see the parent is now single so we will get uh, the things the fields from this single page click on add new and type title or name whatever you want uh, type will be text and click on select to choose the field click on the title and then done selecting save it now we will get the image click on add new selector type picture or image choose type as image and then click on select and click on the image area if this image is not selectable then you can choose this image but uh, as you can see it's already selected it's image item probe image click on done selecting and check if the image link is fetching yes it's getting the image link click on save selector now we will get categories and tags so for categories we will uh, use this vacuum streamers and floor care the second category and for tags we will use this appliances so click on add new first one is categories uh, choose it as text click on select and then choose the category breadcrumb okay it brought the id of the relevant uh, product but we uh, don't need this because it will uh, vary the id will be changed product to product so click select again and look for another option if it's available okay it doesn't show another option so right click on this click on inspect element okay here is the uh, parent class of the li is breadcrumb for each of them so we will need this third one so copy this class and come to the web scraper again and type dot and paste that um, class and uh, if you click on data preview then you will see that it will uh, get the first um, option in the breadcrumb so we will need uh, second third option then we will type semicolon uh, colon n t h n th of dash type then type 3 n th of type 3 and then close bracket now click on data preview and it will get this third second section okay similarly copy this but first save the categories now for tags click on add new type tags and text is uh, okay now paste that breadcrumb and this time it will be the second one will because uh, we will use this one as tags data preview yes it's getting now okay tags is also good now we will get the price start click uh, type price text select and choose this display okay it's not getting the correct value so click on this right click inspect element and elements price characteristic price group get price group then from uh, class price characteristics and choose the um, this attribute the content is equal to come to web scraper type dot price characteristics and then choose from text to element attribute and type content in element attribute because we are getting uh, the content from this element so element attribute and then content if you uh, click on data preview then it will be exact same price 
click on save now we will get the short description click on add new type name short description choose as HTML and click on select scroll down to the highlights product highlights and choose the whole div click done selecting data preview ok it's getting save now type description which is long description also HTML click on select scroll down to the description section or features click on the whole element click on done selecting and save it ok now we have uh, all the data required click on sitemap and scrap and click on start scrapping ok now leave mouse and keyboard and wait for it so it will crawl each and every products uh, on this page and then it will get all the data uh, and export it into a CSV so uh, I'll show you how to save that CSV I'm skipping the scrapping section because it will take a lot of time uh, and I'll cut down to the section where all the scrapping is completed this section will uh, take about um, 5 to 10 minutes or maybe less uh, but for my internet speed it will uh, take at least 6 minutes so I'm pausing this video right now okay I uh, resumed the video recording so it's almost about uh, 28 to 30 products done uh, so I'm closing this you should not close this until it's uh, fully completed it will automatically be closed so I, if I close this and this message appears you can click on sitemap export data as CSV export data as CSV and then click on download and you will have the CSV here first you will open the CSV in Excel and you must first save this file uh, as comma delimited CSV click on menu save as and then type a location where you want to save it I will keep it on desktop and name it Walmart and this is the most important part save type is comma delimited CSV comma delimited CSV not uh, machintosh or dos csv so click on this choose the file name choose location and save it now uh, the two things that are very important for this uh, video uh, which are the category names and tags there is a slash in categories and tags choose these two columns and press ctrl f on your keyboard and replace slash with nothing and click on replace all and the slash will be removed ok now uh, if you see this mm, you will have to change this double slash copy this press ctrl F and replace it replace double slash with H double TP and semi uh, colon double slash replace click this column and click on replace all ok now close this uh, the next important thing is that this ODN is equal to hide and this so copy from this question mark up to here copy this and press ctrl F come to replace type uh, it here and replace it with nothing so click this and replace all ok now uh, that part completely vanished from the image section click save and yes ok close this file and open it again if you see any changes yes slash removed and this also changed ok now come to your WooCommerce website dashboard and click on import uh, sorry first open products WooCommerce products and on the WooCommerce product page click on import here ch choose file and search for Walmart which we saved on desktop 
and click on continue now here you will have to select the fields uh, which fields goes in which column so single href do not import title will be name yes it is but you can also uh, change it if it's not selected automatically okay picture src yes click here and select images because in this uh, column we have images image link okay categories categories tags tags price regular price okay short description and description now click run importer and wait for it okay it says 22 products completed uh, so click on view products now all these products are listed in the woocommerce uh, i have uh, pound sterling as my currency you can change the currency from woocommerce settings page okay now all these things are added if you click on any product and view it on your website then this is how it will look the image categories title product short description long description and uh, price etc so uh, this was all for today's video if you have any question that please you leave your question in the comment section and uh, please give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe will be uh, highly appreciated thank you